Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Tadwa and in this video we are going to write a program to find the GCD and LCM of two numbers using functions. GCD is greatest common divisor and LCM is uh, least common multiplier. Now let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace we are going to write io stream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in an angular brace i'm going to write console input output dot h header file now i'm going to declare two global variables of type integer here i'm going to write int a comma b and put semicolon and now i'm going to write the function definition so here it is given lcm of two numbers using functions now i'm going to write the function definition whose return type is integer and the name of the function is gcd and here i'm going to pass two arguments of type integer int x comma int y and then curly open brace and here we are going to declare a local variable called int r now we are going to use the looping structure while and here i'm going to write b is not equal to zero if this is true then the control must enter into the body of while loop here i'm going to write r is equal to that is remainder a modular division by b so modular division always returns us the remainder i'm going to write a is equal to b and b is equal to r and put closing brace for this while statement and then after this it has to return the value of a and then i'm going to put curly closing brace for this function definition now let us write the main function here i'm going to write wide main function curly open brace and here i'm going to write the function prototype so function prototype means how exactly we are going to declare all the variables before using them in the program in the same way we have to create an interface for the compiler that tells the compiler that this particular function definition is present and you have to search for it and execute the statement present in it here i'm going to write the return type same as that of this one here i'm going to write gcd and then inside of the bracket i'm going to write int x comma int y and here we need to put semicolon and this is called function prototype so in a single line comment i'm going to write this is called function prototype yes next after writing this i'm going to declare some variable of type integer for example product next lcm and one more variable called g here i'm going to write clr scr function after declaring all the variables which is used to clear the screen now we are going to ask the user to enter two numbers using cout stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write enter two numbers end the double quotation mark and put semicolon so we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scene stream extraction operator a stream extraction operator b now we are going to go for writing product is equal to so product of both of these two variables a into b and then we are going to go for calling this function called gcd so we are going to make a function call by writing this variable g is equal to gcd that is the name of the function and argument a and b are the two arguments that we are going to pass next i want to find the lcm so for that i'm going to use this variable lcm is equal to product divided by g so this gives us the lcm now i'm going to write c out statement in a double quotation mark i'll write gcd is equal to end the double quotation mark g and stream insertion operator endl and next i'm going to write c out and i want lcm so here i'm going to write lcm is equal to and lcm is stored in the variable called lcm stream insertion operator end l and now i'm going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example here i am going to write output so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter two numbers here i am going to write enter two numbers 
so always execution starts from main function only so that's the reason so we are going to print this particular statement first then using this scene statement we are going to receive the values of both a and b from the user through keyboard for example i am going to enter 2 and 4 so 2 will be stored in a and 4 will be stored in a variable b next we need to find the product of both of these two that is a into b so here i'll write product is equal to a into b is what 2 into 4 so that gives us 8 8 will be stored in product next here you can see we have the function call so whenever the compiler encounters with gcd a comma b so this is a function call here i am going to write in a single line comment as function call so whenever the compiler encounters with this particular statement directly control jumps to the function definition and it is going to execute the statements present in it here we have got a local variable called r while b not equal to 0 here b value is 4 hence it is true because 4 is not equal to 0 hence the control enters into the body of while loop here we are going to get r is equal to a is what 2 modular division by b is 4 so whenever you find the numerator less than denominator the basic mathematical rule says that when the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator acts as a remainder and quotient becomes 0 so here 2 will become the remainder next a is equal to b is assigned so b value is 4 next b is equal to r here i'll write b is equal to r is 2 next we are going to check out condition once again control transfers to while b is not equal to 0 so what is the value of b now b is 2 so which is not equal to 0 so the first iteration is over again it is going to check out this condition 2 is not equal to 0 hence once again the condition is true and all these three statements will get executed so i'm going to write r is equal to now a value is what 4 so 4 modular division by b value is 2 so here 2 ones are 2 twos are but here it is going to return remainder so 4 is exactly divisible by 2 hence remainder will be 0 next we are going to write a is equal to b what is the value of b now 2 next b is equal to r what is the value of r 0 so this is the second iteration so again control transfers to while b not equal to 0 what is the value of b now 0 0 is not equal to 0 no it is false once the condition is false then the control comes out of this while looping construct and it is going to return a so what it is going to return it is going to return value stored in a that is 2 right yes next here you can see this function call returns the value of a that is 2 2 will be stored in what g next lcm is equal to product divided by g so here we can write lcm is equal to what was the product product was 8 and then integer division by g g is what a correct that is 2 so 2 ones are 2 fours are so here quotient is 4 4 will be stored in lcm now we will go for printing gcd and lcm after this particular statement so it is going to print gcd is equal to g what is the value stored in g 2 right yes next uh, just because of this endl cursor come down to the next line it is going to print lcm is equal to what is the value stored in lcm here it is 4 so lcm is 4 will be printed so now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error i'll press enter now let us run this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user to enter two numbers for example i'm going to enter two and four and i'll press enter here it is printing gcd is equal to 2 and lcm is equal to 4. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.